hey guys so sorry about the lighting i can't even see what's going on up there but it is may 1st so happy may day everyone So hello my lovely babies, welcome back. Today's video is my April 2016 favorites video. Now I think you can see them laid out before you, but I don't know because I can't see the viewfinder because of the sun. But it was such a nice day and it's so warm outside, I thought it would be awesome to bring it outside to do my April favorites and I'm, I hope you can see these. There's a theme going on right now that I did not realize. So we'll just do what's the easiest. No, we'll just start off with the devices. So there's quite a few and even still I had a harder time just like <laughs> narrowing it down to these four because I looked at so many good things and some things here that I didn't pick that I favored these devices over were like the iStick Pico, like I almost included it in this one too, but I just haven't had it long enough yet to want to include it it performs so great in my first look review i just need to continue to use it a little bit more because i've heard nothing but great things about it but like i said i literally just got it like two days ago and so that would have been included and another thing that i almost included but just decided that i like these ones better was the x cube mini 2 but i didn't include that one only because i feel like i i favor these ones more so anyways those are like two that aren't here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my favorite beginner-ish device, my favorite like intermediate vapor device, and my favorite sort of semi-advanced device because I don't do the advanced rebuildables and mech mods regularly. So the first one would be the Ego AO all-in-one. I can't believe I didn't realize that in the original video. I was like, what does AIO stand for? All-in-one, duh. Somebody told me and I was like, you are a genius. So this is so great. This is a great beginner kit and it is a childproof cap, like a childproof tank. So I think that is amazing. I think that I wanna see more of these. And I just learned of the Kanger Tech CL tank, which is a child lock tank. So I'm really hoping to get that in as well because I want to see more and more of these devices being childproof. And look at this table. Mm, it's not very stable out here. And even for a device that has a tight draw, I even like it. Mm, oh my god the flavor in there we will be talking about that and so then my second device that i really like to this month and that i would consider like an intermediate thing i mean i guess a beginner could use it but i wouldn't i wouldn't suggest a beginner to have this one because it has all the bells and whistles and it's high wattage and a beginner doesn't really need that like most beginners some beginners this is the cool fire tc 100 watt it is amazing it has the i sub v on it and i absolutely love this but i didn't do an individual video for the i sub v yet so it's it, i probably will include it in next month's favorites but this is an amazing tank but this is inakin inakin is pretty Pretty much my number one company because they make the MVP and the MVP got me off cigarettes so it always just has a special place in my heart but this is a high wattage device from Inakin that also does all the modes of TC and it is amazing the ergonomic design is handheld it's it's relatively small because you know the MVP threes are huge so I do favor this size over the MVP size but this is a great combination and the I sub V is amazing and quiet Mm. Mm. Chikora in here by Cape Fruit Juice Company, one of my all-time faves. And then the second device that I would recommend more of like intermediate vapor would be the Disguiser. This is so cool. Now, it is huge and that's the only thing I personally don't like about it, but that's only personal preference. But it hides the tank in there and this actually leads me to the next section of favorites which is my favorite atomizers but it hides the tank in there and i think it is so awesome and you have this extendable drip tip and you could have rdas on the top with the extension 510 tube thing but this is just so awesome i think like i love the fact that you can hide it because it's kind of like an all-in-one but you can have your choice of atomizer if you have a favorite atomizer versus an all-in-one like this is my favorite all-in-one but you have to use what coil this comes with it's the only you know because it's all it's a literally an all-in-one oh mg 
Mm, such good flavor, such a good vibe. And then for my favorite advanced kind of device would go to the Kanger Tech drip box. And now, can you see, can you see a theme that's going on right here? They're all white and black. <laughs> and so this is, I kind of feel like the reason I say it's like semi-advanced, not really advanced, because it's not a true mech mod and you don't have to build, oh look at, oh my god. That's the one thing you need to change the cotton way off more often than I do. But um, you don't have to build either because you can just get replacement coils for this or you can build. But then it also has the squonky squeegee bottle down here that pushes the e-liquid up into here. And I just think it's amazing. Now, I don't, I love it, but I don't, I'm like not in love with it. I don't use it just as a daily vaping thing because it's so much vapor and I just, I still haven't fallen out of love with my knee box yet. I still love my knee box more than anything out there which also brings me to something i wanted to show really quickly people because uh, the knee box came out and it was hashtag leak box like it was leaky and everyone hates it but i still love mine and left mine on the side so it wouldn't leak but um I, everyone's been asking because the version 2 comes with a different coil that prevents the leaking and everyone's been asking like oh what's the new coils they're literally called the same thing they're called the ssocc coils stainless steel organic cotton coils but they look completely different so i wanted to show in a video like actually like the new coils versus the old coils and i just bought a pack of these newer coils and they are so hard to find because they have the same name so anywhere you look it's going to come up with these ones and it's not it's this one that's the new one and i'll show a close-up in a second but that's why i love love my knee box now so much more is because of these newer coils that prevent a lot of the leaking i still leave my knee box on the side though and it like it's been my favorite for months and months now. You guys can see that. Let's see, these are the old ones, and these are the new ones. Very, very different looking. Okay, so this brings me to my second, which actually was pretty easy. There was probably one other one. I think it was maybe the Raphael. I really like that one too, or Raphael. I know it's not Raphael, but I love to call it that. This is my favorite atomizer of April, and it is the iSub Apex 5. This holds 5 milliliters, and look, it barely fit in here because it's one of those taller ones. But it has the airflow at the top, so no spillage at all. It has a huge, big viewing window compared to the other Apex, and I just... I love the iSub line. Like when people ask me what my favorite atomizer is, I say anything from the iSub line is actually my favorite like individual atomizer line. So of course I would, and the flavor prism in here, oh my God, it's so good. It makes whatever flavor you have in here so much better. Like I honestly, I feel like the iSub coils are my favorite coils and the best coils for flavor and cloud production. And they have those spit back screen guards so you don't get spit back. And before we move on to my favorite e-liquid, which I need to hurry up because <laughs> Please shouldn't be sitting directly in the sunlight, but I wanted to do the announcement of the uh, Disguiser giveaway since I didn't do a vape vlog since it's Sunday and Sunday is vape vlog day I didn't do a vape vlog. I'm doing this video because my schedule kind of got messed up I didn't get a package in time that I was supposed to get and so I'm doing the announcement for the giveaway on this video and the winner is Rusty Prosser and I will insert the little clip of me randomly picking the winner from the comment generator website but congratulations Rusty Prosser. If you are him or her I will be replying to your comment and we will figure out how you're going to prove your 18. Most people just send me a picture on my T of Apes Facebook page of their face holding their ID and that's good to go. Is my, is it recording? And so congratulations and for all of you guys that didn't win, I will have another giveaway soon, just not on this video. Okay. <laughs> I bet so many of you are wondering. My favorite e-liquids for the month of April. So this is a freaking 16 ounce bottle of utter scotch by Yum E Nectar. It is the best butterscotch I've had by far. The, and she sent me a 16 ounce bottle of it. Mm, oh my god, it smells so strong in this huge bottle. Well, she sent me a 16 ounce, 120 mil, and then a, a 30 mil or a 60 mil. But yeah, 
I am set for a while. This is the biggest bottle I've ever received. I've only ever bought 120 milliliter bottles of e-liquid I like. So this was like quite a shock when I opened it and I was like, oh my God, this is the biggest bottle of my life, 16 ounces. And then the other two, I actually have this flavor in my knee box right now and it's almost gone i'm so sad this is birthday bash by cakery it is the best damn cake flavor i've ever had now i need to have it mm. you can taste the cake you can taste the frosting and a little bit of sprinkles and i went to a bonfire last night and had a lot of my friends try it out now not many of them were smokers i think there's only like two smokers there but even the smokers were like oh that's that's really good but even the people that didn't smoke were like this is so good it tastes so much like cake and so i am going to need more of this asap good job to the people that made cakery e-liquids i like the other one too the buttercream dream but i'm just vaping this purely right now because i want to i'm actually trying to save it like oh it's so good and then the last one which is in where are you it's in here in my ao is oh the lid's not on it vapes to juice by indoor smokers this is the yogo it is a strawberry banana yogurt and it is so good i've had so many yogurt flavors in my day and this strawberry banana flavor is yummy and i have it in here and i think i actually have it what do i have in here i forgot already mm. it literally tastes like bananas and strawberry yogurt cool. So that is my monthly favorites. It's really freaking hot just sitting out here in the direct sunlight. And I would love to know what your guys' favorites are down in the comments below. Let me know what you are loving this month. And I also want to give another shout out. My favorite, everybody knows, but my favorite e-liquid subscription box goes to Zample Box. I actually did my very first entire box tasting for Zample Box this month. That was really fun. You guys really liked it. So I think I'll continue to do that as well. But got to give a little shout out to that. I always forget about that. But like you see it on my channel every single month. So I'll that it's my fave but that's it for today's video i am melting i will link below to all of the things that i talked about here in my favorites video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids mods etc you can follow me on almost any social media site like instagram twitter or facebook i do have a second channel where i upload random videos that aren't vaping related so if you want to see more of me you can check all that out all those social media links will be below and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape so as always i'm tia vapes and thank you so much for watching legit melting that was the worst vape kiss ever because the wind is blowing the other way i need to go inside now